Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. I've seen several posts on Reddit wanting to know how to install and play Pokemon Insurgents on the Steam Deck. This is a fan Windows game, and so I figured I would go through all the steps and show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up your web browser. You're going to go to the Pokemon Insurgents site and download the Windows Setup.exe. So we'll head on over here. And we'll go to downloads and we want the windows installer. We're going to save that in our downloads folder. You see it's setup.exe, save. Next up, we're going to open up Steam, go to our library. We're going to click add a game, add a non-Steam game. And we're going to hit browse. We're going to go to our downloads folder. We're going to change file types from desktop to all files, scroll down and find setup.exe. And hit add to selected program. We're then going to type setup here in our filter. There we go, there's setup.exe. We're going to click it, hit our gear, hit properties, go over to compatibility, force the use of Proton, and we're going to use the highest version of standard Proton, which at the time of this video is 706. Close it, and we're ready to run it. So this is gonna run the setup.exe underneath a Proton prefix, and we're gonna need that Proton prefix later. We're gonna go ahead and accept all the defaults here. Let it go, we're not gonna create a desktop shortcut, no such thing. And we're gonna let it go. Now this takes quite a bit of time here to do this. Uh, we'll probably speed the video up a little bit but it takes a long time to download and it takes a long time to finalize its settings, so don't be impatient. In the meantime though, <clears throat> let's make sure that we have Proton Tricks installed. We're gonna need this to help us find the non-Steam game shortcut folder, in this case setup.exe 4277 blah blah blah. We're gonna need that because we're gonna realign our launcher instead of pointing to setup, we're gonna point it to that game executable. Okay, so we're gonna to go to the compad data folder. I'll have a link in the description below to show you that whole path. You'll have to have hidden files turned on in Dolphin if you don't have them turned on. I beg you to uh, watch my Dolphin tricks and tips video. Okay, so we're gonna dig in here, go into the prefix folder, go into drive C, and eventually when this is done, somewhere inside this drive C is going to be the full install of this Pokemon Insurgents game. So let's go back and see how it's going. It's still downloading files. Let's go ahead and speed things through here real quick. I'll put a timestamp on here to show you how long it takes and then we'll continue when it's done. Okay, it's finally done. Do not launch the game. Do not launch the game, just hit finish. Okay, now you see that it's done doing its thing. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna see if we can find inside of the drive C, we need to find the actual executable that runs the game. And here it is all the way at the bottom, game.exe. We're gonna select it, right click it, and select copy location. That's gonna copy the whole location, the whole path, all the way up to that file. We're gonna go back to our Steam non-Steam game launcher. We're gonna browse and we're gonna paste this in with the keyboard. It doesn't work with a right click. You're gonna paste it in with a real keyboard. Hit open. And now you can see it's pointed to that whole long path to game.exe. And that's it, we're good. That should actually run the game right now. But you know, it's not setup.exe anymore, is it? It's actually pointed to Pokemon Insurgents, so let's not uh, confuse things. Let's actually rename it now. It's not pointing to setup anymore. It's going to go to the actual game itself. All right. Easy peasy. Let's hope that this works, huh? We're ready to hit play. Yeah, hey, looky there. It runs. Small window, but there you go. That's probably the resolution that the game runs in. And it definitely wants a keyboard and mouse for this particular game. Let's go ahead and go over to gaming mode now. Hopefully it'll be running a little bit better inside of the gaming mode window. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like when we run it in gaming mode. 
Ah, that's much better. Unfortunately though, it is still all mouse and keyboard, which means you can't play it with the controller that's built into the Steam Deck. So we can try bringing the on-screen keyboard, but that's not working very well. So we're gonna have to use the actual keyboard to move things around and check this out. Maybe there's some options to turn on a controller in here somewhere. Mm, not looking good, okay. So um, yeah, so up, down, left, right, there's all sorts of keyboard controls in here. So yeah, so what we're gonna really wanna do here is remap all of these buttons to controls on the Steam Deck. Fortunately, somebody else already did this for us. We're gonna go to controller settings. We're going to go up to the current layout. We're going to go over to community layouts and we're gonna grab a Pokemon Insurgents See, they've already mapped it all out for us. How nice. We'll apply it. Boom, it all works. It's all working now. Obviously, you're gonna have to figure out what key does what or what button does what. But as you can see now, everything is indeed working as it should. That's really it. Um, every single non-Steam game's a little bit different. This method might work for other games as well, but now at least you've got Pokemon Insurgents running. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. It means a lot. This is Shane Armonroe. Thanks always so much for watching and take care.